Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So this one is an unfortunate one, but it is what it is and I think everyone kind of, I'm telling myself everyone goes through this. So um, I've recently discovered a lot of um, pest damage on my plants and I discovered it a lot, a lot too late. Um, but um, in my previous video, which you guys would have already seen by now, is my um, houseplant tour. Um, you would have noticed that I said, well, I, I, I put an insert saying that there was frips on these plants. So uh, my begonias and my philodendron micans were the most severely affected. Um, and then taking a, a bit of more of an inspection, they, they're on quite a few of my plants. So I'm going to be treating them in this video with neem oil. So. Um, I'll show you how I mixed up the neem oil and then I'll, sh I'll also mention in later in the video um, how actually the neem kills the insects because um, I think it's always quite interesting to understand how it works uh, as opposed to just using it and it smells really bad and I've washed my hands and it hasn't come off yet so <laughs> well that means it will stick on the bugs really good so that's good but yeah um, so I hope you guys enjoy and as always, thank you for coming along. So I'll get on with it right now. Right, so just here you can see one of the little frips. I'm trying to hold the camera as still as I can. But these little blighters. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's got wings. What on earth? That is disgusting. Okay, so yeah, this. And then down here there's a few more. Um, you see these are more in there. Um, it's called like the larvae phase where they're green and they don't move as much but then when they get to like adult sizes <laughs> oh no where'd he go what's this one when they get to like adult sizes they can start to actually move around a lot more and then they reproduce asexually which means they can just pop out a baby on their own they don't need they don't need no man um, so that is not good news for my room. Um, there's another one there. They're everywhere. Right, so I'm currently melting the neem oil because it comes in like a cold compressed, no, cold pressed neem oil concentrate. So I opened it and it was like, like stiff. So it says to heat it up in hot water. And then I'm going to be using three, um, three quarters of a teaspoon of neem and then half a teaspoon of um, fairy liquid or like dish soap and half a litre of water and then I'm going to be using just this spray bottle because that's the only, only size I have. Um, so Emma kindly gave me the instructions on how to do this and then I've just done half measures because I only have a tiny bottle. Um, let's try and get this open and have a look. Right so I'm just going to grab 500ml of water. I don't know if it needs to be warm water because maybe the neem will just like go hard again. So I'll add a bit of warm water. Right. So we've got 500 ml of neem. Let's no 500 ml of water. Oh, the neem oil is coming out. Yuck. That's because I shook it. <laughs> I don't know if this is like bad for you and it says you can use it with your hair so I'm assuming it's not bad but yep yeah, oh it's definitely melted that stinks so bad right one wait how's this oh I guess the dish soap makes it mix right two three there we go oh it's leaking oh, no uh, I'm gonna need to clear that up <laughs> Right, so I don't know if you can how well you can see that, but it's literally just sat on top of the water. So now I'm going to do half a spoon of dish soap, or I'm using fairy liquid. And then hopefully this will make something usable. Ew. Oh wow. So you see the colour has just gone like a milky, uh, weird colour. <laughs> Okay, cool. Right, this is probably all I'm going to do because that's that's so cool. So the soap obviously mixes the two components together. Wicked. So I've got enough there to fill up this little bottle twice. 
Um, hopefully I won't need that much, but I'm gonna spray absolutely everything. <laughs> right, so let's fill this up. It probably did help using warm water rather than cold. So I don't know if that's true, but it worked. Oh wait, did I only do enough to fill up once? Right, let's put that much in for now. Okay, let's get this on so I don't spill it. Interesting. It stinks so bad. Cool, there we go, we've got the neem oil. Right, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Right, so the sound is gonna be a bit weird in here because I'm in the bathroom, but we are going to uh, get as much coverage as we can. Get under the leaves. I think that is probably enough. One for luck. <laughs> right. Oh my god. I don't know if it's supposed to smell this bad, but it really does. Right, and then the polyneura. Gonna make sure I get in that new growth there because that's gonna be such a little crevice they can hide in. Oh my god, this stinks. There we go. Make sure I get under the leaves. And it says to apply it until it's dripping and then let it obviously drip. Oh, that is so terrible. Right. And then a lot of my other begonias, like this guy, I do not want to lose it. So I'm going to be spraying all of these as well. But I haven't seen them on here, but I don't want to risk it. It's probably going to take me two hours, <laughs> but I need to do it properly. It's, it'd be worth doing it properly. Right, so I'm also with my like larger leafed plants, my broad leafed plants, I'm going to be using some cotton wool and then dunking it into the solution and wiping it over the leaves just so that it's like a more direct. Oh crap, this is disgusting. So it's more of a direct application and obviously then I won't get it everywhere. So I'm just going to do the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. And then this is good because it will probably wipe off some of the frips. I mean, I haven't seen any on this plant, um, but I'm going to do every plant just in case. Um, and I was quickly reading up and I'll have to definitely get the inside there as well. I was quickly reading up about, like, about um, quickly looking into how neem oil actually kills thrips, and it says that if you spray them directly, so the oil itself actually coats the the insect, and the soap allows the oil to be lo like looser or um, a looser molecular structure, allowing it to coat the insects, meaning that it basically um, suffocates them because the oil gets into their breathing, it said holes or like breathing, their breathing holes. <laughs> um, and then it literally just suffocates them. And then it also said that you can use neem oil as a systemic insecticide. And by that, it means that the plant actually takes up the neem oil. And then when the insects eat your plant, um, the neem oil will, will um, cause the insects to stop eating. So it basically just kills them from the inside out, um, which sounds horrible, but I'd rather them than my plants. <laughs> so I just thought it was quite interesting to actually figure out how how it kills them, because then obviously you can have a better understanding of how to apply it, um, which is always good. And I mean, these leaves needed a good wipe down anyway, because they were getting dusty. So I'm probably, um, I think it said to apply it once uh, and then wait between four, I believe it said between four and seven days. So 
I'm going to apply it once today and then I'm going to keep an eye on the plants that were suffering with it and then the ones that weren't I'll obviously be able to probably wait a little bit longer um, I don't know what you can see but there's like obviously a lot of dust on there and I don't see any frips which is good news for me as hopefully then it means that they wouldn't have got to this plant yet uh, I did think it was quite interesting that you could use it as a systemic pesticide though because I wasn't aware of that so it's good to learn new things definitely and this is dripping and it like if you guys have never smelt this I know I keep going on about it and I'm sorry but <laughs> it is oh, like, it's so musky and revolting um, but I have a lot of plants coming in at the end of the week so I need to clear all of this before that um, and it's crazy because I've never ever had frips before so if I look close um, yep is that a frip? let me look closer uh, no I'm not certain if that's a frip see any frips on there not confirmed, inconclusive, <laughs> um, but I'm just going to keep wiping. Right, what about this one? No, I don't see any. I don't see any in their larval form and I don't see any adults. Obviously I don't know if there's any eggs on there, um, but that's why you um, have to reapply after um, a week or so just in case there's any eggs that you missed and the eggs could potentially still hatch um, they could I'm, I'm assuming the neem oil coating the eggs could also suffocate the eggs to an extent hopefully <laughs> that sounds really cruel um, did I really do this leaf? nope okay yeah there's loads of frips here let me try to get a close up on that right those little little in the center of the screen there's little white little light green things and then all that residue where they've been eating it and discreting um, excreting all over the leaf so yep so it's a good job that I'm doing this now oh, right let's wipe you all off and I don't know where these frips came from but I guess rather than pondering over where they came from it's better to just take action and get rid of them um, I'm probably going to, like with the micans, I've just thrown it out I'm not going to bother treating it because it looked so terrible anyway I, I don't feel like it's going to be worth it um, but these other plants I'm gonna try to save because I just don't I don't want to throw away everything um, so it's definitely worth trying hopefully I get used to this smell because I'm probably gonna be smelling it all night <laughs> right um, I'm hoping, I think I'm probably going to have to spray the centre of this just to get them any that are in in the, um, the leaf. Um, what's in there? You like, no I don't see any in there, like in the centre growing point, but I may, it may be worth spraying it anyway. Um, and oddly enough there's none on the new le the newest leaf coming in, obviously I don't know if there's eggs on there potentially, but I would have thought they would have loved that new leaf. Right. And I've been finding them on the undersides and on the tops of the leaves, so it doesn't seem like they have a preference in terms of top or, uh, front or back. Um, there we go. Right, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, I'll go in afterwards and spray the centre. Oh, that stinks. Right, and now the other philodendron. I'm not going to do this all on camera, but I'll have a look to see if I can see anything on here. Please don't be. 
Well, it's harder to see on this leaf as well because it's obviously got the the white coloration. No, I don't see any. Uh, what's that? Is that a fruit? Hello? Hmm, I don't know if that's a fruit. There's a little dark thing, I'm just gonna squish it. Make sure you squish it properly. Right, I think I'll spray this one. Because there's a lot more leaves, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to get each one. So, I'll spray that one in the bathroom. Right, with my Alocasia Poly, I'm going to wipe this one down. Uh, this will be the lot. Oh. Hello. That looks like potentially spider mite on there as well. That's the problem with buying in a load of new plants at, the, like, at once. And obviously not quarantining plants. You're just inviting so many unwanted visitors. And I think this um, here has kind of reinforced my um the well the the necessity to quarantine plants especially when you have a collection that you have spent a lot of money on and a collection that you obviously are quite proud of or spend a lot of um, time on it's just worth taking that extra week or two just to quarantine your plants and see if anything pops up because if if I quarantined the plants that I recently purchased, I may not be in this position where I've got like frips everywhere, or this disgusting smelling liquid that's dripping on the floor and on my leg. Oh, it makes them look super shiny though. That's that's so pretty. <laughs> Worth it. Um, and I'm gonna try not to snap these because these feel like they would so easily just snap. Right, I think I prefer this method because then obviously you're wiping off any adults anyway, but let's see which method is the most effective. Um, obviously you can just cut leaves off if they're too badly infected, um, which would be a good idea on your larger plants or your more hard to treat plants I guess. Uh, so this uh, neem oil does kill um, aphids, it kills um, spider mites, it kills almost um, the majority, well the majority of um, houseplant pests. So I mean, I mean I can't vouch for that because I haven't personally had that I experience yet, but that is what it says online so I'm going to believe it for now. And everyone uses it so I guess it must be true. There we go. Right, I'm guessing this is probably getting a bit boring to watch now, but um, yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this. I'll probably do it over the course of a few hours, come back to it and touch up on bits that I haven't covered properly. And then I'm going to have to wipe down all the sides because it stinks and it's dripping everywhere. There is definitely some sort of spider mite on here too. It looks like, well, I see the webs, I can't see the actual mites themselves. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, that and coming around with me and me showing you how I'm treating my frips. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated if it works and if it doesn't then I'm going to remove a lot of these plants and because I don't want to use anything stronger then I don't want to use anything that's not um, organic or like naturally occurring chemicals. Um, I don't particularly want to use anything like that. So if anything is severely damaged I will be taking like drastic measures and just getting rid of it or putting it outside for a while and see if any natural predators clear up the frips or like the cold temperature etc um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I didn't <laughs> I'm joking no it's, it's, it's nice to share I enjoy the sharing part but I don't enjoy the, the fact of what it is um, <laughs> but as always I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video hopefully it'll be something a little better